Oh, hello, Gay Community News. Um, thank you for sending me through these questions. The first one you asked me is, where do I get my sense of humour from? Hmm, uh, probably from my mother, actually. Uh, yes, I am a gay cliché. And um, I would say probably from being sat down to watch uh, endless sitcoms as a child and things like The Two Ronnies. It's quite strange as a child, though. Which Irish celeb would I love to meet and why? Uh, I, I know, I know who it is. Uh, Panty Bliss. Yeah, definitely Panty Bliss. When Panty Bliss did that speech at uh, the end of that play, and everybody around the world watched it, it was so incredible because finally someone was going, hey, I'm just a person trying to deal with things in the world. I thought it was so moving and so um, incredible. I think it was one of the, like, all-time most inspiring speeches, actually. Who is my biggest man crush? Um, uh, so many. So many. At any one time, it could just be the man sitting opposite me on the train. That's who it usually is. What is my ideal date? I like to go... I said I like to go for dinner, but what if you don't like them? If it's a first date, you don't want to go for dinner, then you want to sit there, and it's awkward for both of you. You know if you don't like each other. Um, but I suppose a date... Uh, you know, doing, like, maybe a walk somewhere. That's nice. When did I realise I could be funny for a living? Um, I didn't, I think. I just wanted to... I just... <laughs> I... <laughs> Um, I always liked talking, and it became a need that I had to somehow make a living out of it. So it was the other way around, really. Um, I didn't go, oh, people are just throwing money at me for just talking. Um, I did lots of time of learning, <laughs> learning how to be funny, and sometimes not being funny at all, which was excruciating. So what, who are my biggest style icons? Uh, Tom Ford, suits. I'm not wearing a suit today. I should have put a suit on for this, shouldn't I? But I'm about to leave to go to, to another tour show I'm doing in Devon. And you have to, I just had to wear a jumper. So Tom Ford for suits and uh, Noel Coward for dressing gowns. How's that? Tell us an embarrassing story about yourself. The other day, um, I thought someone wanted to take a picture with me, but it turned out they were just checking their phone, which was embarrassing because I put, them, put my arm around them. Got ready, got in the smiling position and everything. Is there any material I've written that I've thought, no, this is too far, tell us? No, I say it all on stage. And what do you think I am? What kind of material can we expect at your upcoming show? Well, it's a show about me living at home with my mum and dad. And yes, very successful person. And um, this might not be my house, I'm sat in now. Uh, but um, I, uh, yeah, so I talk about that. I talk about memories of school. I talk about a children's birthday party I went to. And also a hen party I was invited to. Um, and I suppose there's a bit of a comparison between going on a bowling birthday party and feeling very self-conscious about being gay because you're wearing a pink and purple shell suit. Because you'd chosen it in isolation and then going on a hen party uh, as the token gay and then finding out they've invited another token gay. Um, if there's anything worse than that. And he was a better gay than me. I mean, he had a hat. When and where is my Dublin show? I'm glad you asked. Uh, so, it's this Wednesday, Wednesday the 11th of October 2017, at the Laughter Lounge in Dublin. I would love to see you there. I'm so excited. It's my first, this is my first ever solo tour, and my first time doing a, a tour show in Ireland. So, um, I'd be really delighted if you could make it. Um, it's on Wednesday the 11th of October, and details can be found at tomindeed.com forward slash shows. I very much enjoyed talking to you, mainly to myself. And a, and a phone, but I've enjoyed talking to you, and thank you for listening, and bye for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.